Welcome back everybody, my name is Brennan, and for you today I have a 22 caliber 3D model that I am going to be going over real quick for you guys. Um, now basically, I uploaded a video that was absolute crap and it turned out to have copyrighted uh, music in it, so I just deleted it. It was, it was low quality, it was before I figured out how to make proper recordings, thanks to my friend Mike. Say hi Mike. Hey. Check out his channel, Mr. Biggles. Okay, cool. And, um... <laughs> Don't fuck this one. <laughs> yeah. No, and then, um... So basically, I'm gonna go over its functionality and uh, just a quick overview of what I did. Um... So you would load your cartridge right in here, into this hole. And then this piece right here, this little indentation, has a spot for, like, maybe a broken drill bit or something you could use uh, as the metal piece that would actually hit the rimfire cartridge and set it off to actually be fired. Um, so the way this works is this would be down like this. There would be a spring right in here and you'd load up your cartridge right there. The spring's already in here. This is going to be detachable, this little cylindrical piece. So you put it back on once the spring's in there. And then you pull it back. This will depress the spring. And then the cylinder will come over the top of this little angled trigger mechanism. And it'll depress it. And then once it's back here, it'll be locked into place, ready to fire. And when you pull the trigger back, there's a little hole here where it'll be on like a hinge, so then it can kind of go down uh, as it follows this angled track downwards. So when you depress the trigger, there's a spring in here so it, it, the trigger's bouncy. But anyway, once you depress the trigger, this little triangular piece will push back on this piece a little bit as it makes its way down this angled uh, little groove, and it'll allow this to then pass over it, fly down, and strike the bullet. This will set the bullet off, fires out of the barrel, and hopefully does not explode in your hand. Um, this little sheath right here has little cuts out, so then this uh, cylinder can slide down into the barrel and hit the bullet uh, without getting stuck. But this would just slide over the top right here like that and this kind of seals everything in there hopefully to give it a little bit more support for the blast um i'm going to be testing this with airsoft bbs uh, for safety precautions obviously this is my first attempt also at putting an actual functioning sight on the gun um it may be hard to tell but there's like less of a dip on this side than there is on this side for the sight. And that's, so then it's like angled down to match up with the barrel. I, again, I have no idea if that's gonna work at all. Um, you could, now that I think of it actually, you could probably just get like a normal uh, sight piece that they have for like AR-15s and stuff and just kind of like screw it in and adjust it that way. Um, but that's something maybe I can look into. But that's basically the functionality of my 22 caliber pistol um, you could of course put a steel barrel in here uh, to kind of just make it completely safe to shoot more or less uh, you could extend this trigger a little bit so then it's easier to depress um, you could add a trigger guard I didn't really think it was necessary um, you could change the little piece that you use to pull the spring back but I didn't think that mattered and uh, that's it really so if you guys have any questions comments feel free to leave them and I'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, I love hearing from you guys and yep if you do anything like this be safe test it from a safe distance with like a string or something and have fun have, be safe yes, there and we go. happy shooting thanks man See, it sticks. Anyway, uh, have fun, be safe, happy shooting, guys. Thanks for watching.